Hey y'all, my name is Caroline Underwood and I am a junior elementary education major from Birmingham, Alabama and I'm also a Rebels for Christ intern and um, full disclosure, there's construction going on in my house right now and I'm very sorry for the noise, but um, right now we're going to talk about hope and I think that's something we use a lot in our everyday vocabulary, but honestly, I think it's something that's overlooked, especially in Christianity. Um, I think that you know, we all know what hope means, but in terms of Christianity, um, it means like our innermost desires and kind of what we want from God, or at least that's what it is for me. Like I, um, like for example, I hope that God answers my prayer requests. Um, I hope that God, you know, gives my family a nice stable Christmas, but I think a lot of times our hope and our faith get confused or like intertwined or like, I don't know. But I think a lot of times we have hope, but we don't have faith. I, I think like we have hope that, you know, I hope God's going to do this for me, but is he going to actually do it? I don't know. I think that's a presence of hope and a lack of faith. But, um, as far as faith, I don't believe you can really have faith without hope. Like, if you have faith that God is going to do something and you, like, you don't actually want that in your heart, then I think you're kind of missing the entire point. Um, so I think um, I've always had hope that um, someday I would be in home, at home with God in heaven. And that's something I've hoped for for a long time now. Um, because I know that it's going to be a place of only joy and no more tears and like just whole wholesome hearts all the time. And that's something I've wanted for a long time now, especially because this earth is something that like it's good. There are so many good things in our world, but it's, our world's also very much broken. Um, and there's a lot of turmoil, in our, especially right now. There's a lot of turmoil in our world right now. And so, um, I think that if we if we didn't have hope that things were going to get better, like we're just throwing the towel now. You know what I mean? Like I think um, I think at the end of the day, I have hope in God that He is one day going to um, restore our Earth to His Edenic state, and that someday like we don't have to live in a world of broken goodness. That someday we can go home to our Father in heaven. Um, I think that is something that's really defined my faith, um, is that knowing, is knowing that, um, someday God's gonna restore our earth, and, um, I, as for right now, I am, me and, you know, our staff at RFC and everyone at RFC, that's what we want, and that's what we are working towards. Um, we want to bring about that revolution of redemption, but um, we can't do that without hope. Um, I think without the hope of the hope that God will um, redeem. I'm sorry, y'all. Words are hard, but um, I think without the hope that Earth will someday will be as it is in heaven. Like we can't we can't execute that without hope. And my hope is someday that, um, my hope is that someday our earth will be as it is in heaven. But, um, as for right now, we keep pushing and keep doing the work that God calls us to do. And even though our hope is, um, I think a lot of times, especially right now, our hope is in earthly things like, oh, I hope this candidate wins the election, or I hope COVID kind of goes away, that kind of thing, or, like, I hope my, I pass my classes, like, I think, um, you have to have, very first, you have to have hope in God that he will, um, execute his plan on those things, and hope that we, um, will someday be in a world where God restores our earth, and a place that we, don't experience sorrow and we have hope we have to have hope that um even in like the darkest of times especially in 
you know, right now that God is someday going to bring light into our world. And until he does that, it's our job to be that light in our world and bring hope to others. Um, I hope that was just a small glimpse of the hope that exists in my life. And I hope that it inspires you to um, find hope in your life and um, kind of look at what you hope in God and what you um, what you believe he will do in your life because of your hope. Thank y'all and hotty toddy.